This comes to us from the Daily Mail. Not UK. It says exclusive. Dakota Johnson angers Madam Web bosses oh. for dragging the Marvel flop and failing to take any responsibility for its poor box office performance after saying she understands why it bombed. Let's see, Dakota Johnson is said to be in hot water with Sony and the team behind Madam Web for uh, after infuriating bosses by making multiple public digs at the Marvel movie amid its poor box office performance who cares that movie sucked anyways why are you mad yeah you know yeah. it sucked exactly right? yeah uh see 50 shades of gray star 34 plays a titular superhero in the 80 million dollar production which has ripped to shreds by critics and viewers alike following its release on valentine's day the film has grossed a meager 40 million so far at the domestic box office after scoring one of the lowest superhero debuts in recent memory, uh, taking a measly 15.1 million on its opening weekend. Now, Dakota is reportedly being accused of dragging the film and failing to take any responsibility after admitting she hadn't seen the film herself before going on to make several damning statements about the production. Lots of people uh, at Sony are questioning her star power and how she reacted to this failure will likely come back and haunt her. One of insider told daily mail, uh, dot com exclusively, but is she wrong though? Yeah. It's a, is it, isn't it normal for actors to not watch their stuff? Cause it's like, it feels kind of awkward. So why are they using that again? against her now just because it got the bad reception they're, they're finding any any excuse e, so I, yeah, yeah it's like go on. like yeah she's not the best the best actress in the world but at the same time you like you gave her so little to work on so it's not really i wouldn't really pin everything on her like like i said it's the it's the writers the directors you guys set up everything on how mm. she must act on what she must do so yeah, uh, this is kind of like Disney saying like it's all the bigots' fault. It's 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 the same line of reasoning in my opinion. Only it, this time it's fixated on Dakota Johnson instead of the audience. It's but it's the same mm -hmm. line of reasoning. Yeah. So I I heard recently she was in a um someone interviewed her or something like that or she 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 said somewhere that um she didn't know what was happening with the movie. Like it's, she's like, I, I'm paraphrasing. She said that they're supposed to do something like according to the script. And then they did something else. And she said that this was one of the things she, she said that she will never do a superhero movie ever again. And I believe that she said that she don't know. She didn't know why her, her uh, manager gave her this, like told her to take this part. And I believe she's not going to be working with that manager uh, anymore. I'm not sure if that's true. But I know that she did this. She did sort of shit on it. But the thing is, Sydney Sweetney also shit on it. However, she she did it on um, she did it on uh, what's it called again? Uh, SNL. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, it's okay to joke about your movie not doing well and even lean into the bad reviews like Sydney Sweetney did on SNL with her monologue. But producers and Sony aren't laughing over Dakota's continued dragging of how she sees the fallout of Madam Web and how she isn't taking any responsibility for its lackluster results. Not every movie is going to work, but a lot of hard work is put towards even bad movies and for your stars to shit on it, it's, it looks bad. They continued, Dakota is being looked down on over her talk with the film because everyone in the production is thinking, what if this movie was still the same? But also box office gem. Uh, what well, is? Are, aren't you contradicting contradicting yourself? What if it's still the same, but it's also good? That like, those like two it, it made trick. money. Like basically, like what happens if it's a shitty movie, but it made a shit ton of money? Then you'll say it's probably good. Uh, it, obviously, <laughs> but yeah, you, you, of course she's gonna say it's good because she made money out of it. She made she made she had the movie made money, but it it didn't. So. So you're saying it's all on her? Why the movie is so bad? That's, I don't know. It's like that's not the proper key takeaway for these people, man. Yeah, like I, like like someone said, yeah, it should have made a better movie. Yep. Yeah. Like, how about you just make a better movie? It's like you, it's the person that basically made 
Morbius made this movie. Mm-hmm. That movie sucked. And they re-released it in theaters because of the memes. And it sucked again. So I'm just like, <laughs> what are you thinking? Right? Let's see. Uh, she would be talking about sequels and po- uh, probably praising herself over its for- good fortune. Yeah. During a recent, <laughs> during a recent interview with Bustle. It's so stupid, man. <laughs> yeah. You see, Dakota, who is reportedly engaged to boyfriend Chris Martin... It's not the Chris Martin from Codeplay. I hinted that she predicted the public backlash. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised that this has gone down the way it has, she said. But it was definitely an experience for me to make the movie. I had never done anything like it before. I will. uh, I probably will never do anything like it again because I don't. uh, I don't make sense. uh, I don't make sense in that world. Okay, and I don't. uh, And and I know. I know that now. Yeah, she continues, sometimes in the industry, you sign on something and it's one thing. And then as you're making it, it becomes a completely different thing. And you're like, what? Wait, what? Right? And it's true. Yeah, but it was the real learning experience. And of course, not, not it's not nice uh, to be a part of something that's ripped to shreds. But I can't say that I under, uh, that I don't understand. And she then uh, seemed to take hmm. shot at the movie bosses and explain, it's not. It's so hard to get movies made, and in these big movies uh, that get made, it's even starting to happen with little ones, which is um, what's really freaking me out. Uh, decisions uh, are being made by the committees, and the art does not do well when it's made by the committee. Yep, that's true. That's absolutely true. Like, let's say if you're you're an artist and you make something really, really cool, but then you have a bunch of these people or executives that are basically trying to come in and says, oh, you got to change this. You got to change this shit. And, and I believe that's what's happening with her. Yeah, films are made by the filmmakers and not a team of artists around them. You cannot make art based on numbers algorith- and, sorry, and algorithms. My feeling has been for a long time, the audiences are extremely smart and executives have started to believe that they're not. <laughs> oh, she's, uh, she's, she's right there. Yeah. She's right there. Audiences will always be able to sniff out bullshit. Even if films start to uh, start to be made with AI, humans aren't going to fucking want to see those. The insider warned that Dakota's comments could come back and haunt her, but conceded that she was uh, just one new film success away from getting back into good graces of executives. In typical Hollywood fashion, if Dakota's next film is a major hit, then everyone will be kissing her ass again, they said. Right now, not so much. Dakota, the daughter of Melanie Griffith, and Don Johnson plays Cassandra Webb, a New York City paramedic endowed with psychic abilities uh, owing to a mutant gene. Uh, sorry, a mutant gene akin to the concept of X Men. Yeah. So, but if you have big tits and say stuff like that, I think you're okay. <laughs> yep, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh man! Like she basically said that, like, oh, you guys know me for Euphoria. And not for Madam Web because nobody saw yep. it. Right? Yep. That was her joke. But the thing yeah. is that her jokes were curated to like a bunch of writers. And you know that this is supposed to be a comedy skit. So that's the reason why maybe it's more okay. But the thing is that like she's everywhere right now. Maybe because of her nice tits. I'm not sure. But uh yeah, her Saturday Night Live like got a lot of people. So let's go ahead and actually see what she what she uh actually oh, said. My- me in uh, you- can you can you hear that or no? Yeah, I can again. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually. You might have seen me in anyone but you or Euphoria. It's you- too loud. You definitely did not see me in Madame Web. Yeah. So, it's it's like a nice it's it's like a subtle jab. What mm-hmm. do you think about what she said and comp- compared to what Dakota Johnson said? It's just the same thing. It's. Just- for me, it's the same thing. It's the same banana, regardless of the intent. But at the end of the day, it's like these higher ups, executives, directors. You need to learn to look in the mirror and actually say, "Oh, it's my fault. What can I do better? What can I learn from this incident?" Instead of having that mindset, it's everyone else's fault except mine. 
Like nothing's going to change if you keep continuing to have that mindset. It wouldn't hurt mm-hmm. to take a step back and actually look. Maybe I maybe it's me. Maybe I did something wrong along the way. And if it was, how can I change it? But yeah, you know how these Hollywood people types think. It's, yeah, they're not gonna change until they're forced out of their jobs or the money runs out. Yeah. I think uh, when it comes down to Sydney Sweeney, um she she is younger. And yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if, I, if she's I, like. Hey, I think she'll. Uh, I think Sydney Sweeney will go even bigger if she really s- incredibly steps up her acting. Like, what, because what's carrying her now? Let's admit it's her tits. But if, <laughs> if, she, if, if she can act a whole lot better, she'll she'll go really high. That that's my opinion. Yeah, I I would say so. Her, her I wish her acting chops were a little better. But here's the thing, yeah. though. Um, according to what I heard. SNL received one of the highest views in quite some time because of Sydney Sweeney. Mm-hmm. I wonder why. Mm-hmm, and yeah. uh, maybe it's because of this. Gray, have you seen this one yet? Yeah, I, it's. I mean, take advantage of your prime years, right? While you're still looking like that. But yeah, if she also steps up her acting, get her acting chops, she'll go even much, much higher. That, that's my yeah. point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure chat is like, play the video already. Just play it. <laughs> oh, let me see. Yeah, how much tips did you make? Uh, 31, 32, uh, $36,000. Jesus. What? Is that low? I wouldn't say low. Yeah, that's pretty good, Tina. I wonder, see, the, the fact that like, yeah, she, 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 know, she, she knows what she has. And uh, she's basically, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna look like this all the time. So uh, let's, let's, let's go ahead and you know just use it. Like, look, I, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, like, Amaranth is doing the same, right? She's, pro- she, she, she knows mm. that she's, she's not gonna she be young forever. She yep. She, she, she knows she's not gonna be young forever, and she knows that she's making a crap ton of money right now. She has, she has an AI program that sends people texts and like pictures and stuff like that that she's mm. having her doing, it, and she's. I believe she made like several, I think she made like 50 something thousand, 40 something thousand day one. And she has a couple of gas stations and stuff like that. But I think it's in terms of going to what Dakota Johnson said, I think what she said is correct. It's yeah. like, yeah, you're, you're talking about the art, but you have all of these uh, Hollywood executives are basically like weaseling and noodling the way into, um, into story writing. And just because she said something that you don't want to hear doesn't mean that it's not true yeah right yeah yeah she is milking her boots for all it's worth can't blame the thoughts and blame uh i blame the simps true 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 well uh in my opinion uh whether whether or not uh the executives like it or not that movie sucked the movie sucked yeah. ass uh don't do shit like this ever again don't bait and switch, uh, you know, switch us and saying, oh, you're going to see a bunch of these, right? I'm going back to the article, right? Like over here, uh, I thought that I was going to see a lot of, uh, a lot of this, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, her in her spider outfit, her in her spider woman outfit. I thought we we're going to see a shit ton of that. Like half yeah. the, at least like a, a quarter, not a quarter of the movie. Let's say a quarter of the movie at most. The, the movie was like two hours. No, it was like an hour, 50 something minutes. Excuse me. And we got like two minutes of this, of them in their superhero outfits, right? If you if you gave us at least like twenty minutes of them doing superhero shit, no one would have complained. Yeah, I think. Um, but the thing is that it still has shitty writing, though. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, yep. Yeah, uh, it. I do want to see box office. Let's see. I want to see where it is. Right yeah, now. I'm. I'm interested in the global. Because I I remember this, this one of this first videos like it managed to make like ten million pesos here, which which converted to dollars is not a lot, but in peso money that's actually pretty significant. So uh, in uh, domestic forty one, international fifty, so total ninety two million dollars, and uh, the pr- the the production the budget is eighty thousand uh, dollars. It's sorry, eighty. No, sorry, eighty million dollars. So factor in uh, costs and stuff like that. Yeah, it it it, it barely made back. It's a 
is production val um, value. Yeah, yeah, not even including marketing. Yeah. If you don't even put in marketing yet. <laughs> yeah, this movie was awful. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we don't see any more movies like this. Man. Hopefully, it's, uh, but it's... yeah, it's like Hollywood is more of a lost. It's it's more of a more uphill battle versus gaming. Because <laughs> like it's so heavily invested with either, if not incompetence, woke compared to gaming. Like gaming's just it's the battle's just beginning, or at least we're already winning in the gaming space. But for Hollywood, it's such a long way to go. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.